right, you guys. So I'm going to show you how to thoroughly clean all the foundation off of your um, blending sponge. So this is a sponge that I um, got off of eBay. And as you see, it is dirty. It has foundation. Now, usually what I use to um, clean my sponges is this. And this is... A, um, a brush soap that um, I got from Zorin and it cleans them pretty good without all of the um, soap residue left on it um, the I used to clean it with dishwashing soap but it doesn't get them clean clean so I found another method of cleaning um, my soap my sponges but first I'm going to show you exactly how the sponge looks when I clean it with this so I usually you know wet the sponge and just rub it around And the reason why I change uh, my soap method of cleaning my sponge and using um, the Zorin um, brush cleaner is because it's so hard getting all the soap out of the sponge from the dishwashing liquid. Now, all the soap residue is out, and as you can see, it still has foundation on it. So, what I found um, to clean it was good old fashioned zest soap. Believe it or not, you guys. So, this is zest. I didn't get a new bar because I don't want to waste bars of soap. And actually, it's cheaper than you know, paying the ten dollars for the Zorin soap or any other soap. I think the Beauty Blender soap is like almost twenty bucks or ten ten ninety five or something. Don't quote me on it. So I wet the sponge again, and I just lather it up on the from on the soap bar. And just manipulate the sponge. Make sure all the soap is inside. And because, even though Zest is a soap, because it, um, it's one of those soaps that doesn't leave residue on you, it's so much easier to get all of the soap out of the sponge and Voila, as you see, my sponge is back black. There's no foundation whatsoever on this sponge. So ladies and gents, if you don't want to pay all that money for the Beauty Blender cleaner, invest in some zest soap to get your sponges clean. So until the next video, I will see you later. Bye.